Well, while you've been in government for uh, through several administrations, what chances do you think this latest cha-cha has of, of, of being, of, of uh, getting, getting that? Yeah, well, uh, my, my condition when I accepted to join the meeting, uh, I was asked first if I, 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 uh, I was in favor of the, uh, you know, uh, co uh, uh, CONAS. At, the, at this, uh, you know, at the restrictions, uh, economic restrictions, uh, yeah. removing them through cha cha. I said, okay, I, I, I agree, but uh, there has to be an air, airtight, airtight proviso that there will be no straying into you know, political yeah. provisions or self serving uh, yes, legislation. Mm. So that's what I said. Sir, were so, you but, satisfied? Uh, we, were you satisfied with their with their guarantee? Because they, they gave us a guarantee a while ago again. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, the house leadership's word is yeah, the, is their the word guarantee. Now is their guarantee. Uh, although yeah, well, at the same time they also said Kanina, uh, but in the end when it gets to the plenary we can't do anything if somebody makes a proposal. That's right. Or if they, and if they get the three fourths. Yes, sir. We just had the yeah, uh, congressman they Garbin, get the three uh, fourths, you. of course. It will have to be respected. Well, that is something else, you know. So uh, I, that, that I would uh, oppose, you know, if that is the case. You know. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, whenever uh, Dr. Parnia uh, opposes something, that's a, that's a fatal... Uh, <laughs> so, uh, actually, I started by saying that uh, having been in NEDA, my set, uh, mindset has been uh, anticipatory and forward planning. You know, if you want to do things, you better prepare, anticipate na ngayon, and... Uh, Make forward plans. Hindi kasi pwedeng na we will we will begin to uh, you know I, I'm just uh, I'm 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 uh, you know innocently <laughs> assuming that uh, there's going to be no uh, straying into political provisions mm. in, mm -hmm. of the constitution that it will be purely and it's airtight that there's going to be no straying away from that. And so I said uh, that uh, you know we. Yeah, we cannot wait for the new normal when we are already in the new normal hmm. or even nearing the new normal. We're still far, far from it. But uh, I think, uh, you know, it takes a long time to plan and to, you know, prepare ex executing the plan and also to get uh, results. Okay, why can't we wait? What do we stand to lose uh, by waiting until after, you know, the new normal or, or the old normal is back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, you know, when people, when investors or when the uh, international uh, uh, investment community uh, sees that we are doing something already this early, let's say you're saying this, it's too early, this early about the uh, restrictive provisions, economic provisions in the constitution, then th that already signals favorably to the investors. Ah, they're doing something. And so, you know, they're also going to look forward to the time that when these uh, provisions uh, are going to be effective in terms of getting implemented on the ground. That's why, right, sir. Uh, can you give us concrete examples? of how foreign ownership can actually serve to uh, propel us faster into, you know, into a developed state, if that is what we want to achieve, or at least in a, in a very much more stable economic state. Uh, how is that better than working on these, uh, or pushing these bills uh, and resurrecting them? How is that better? Yeah, well, if you, uh, well, it's uh, just uh, look around our ASEAN uh, neighbors. All of them have uh, very, you know, hardly any restrictions on uh, foreign participation in uh, uh, areas and activities, econ uh, economic areas and activities in their economies. Vietnam, the, 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 real, uh, the really interesting case is Vietnam. Uh, erstwhile a communist country, centrally planned economy. So it, uh, it, Vietnam is a late comer, but it is the best performing economy now in ASEAN. It is the only 
economy in Asia that uh, was able to grow 1.2%, positive 1.2%, while all other economies in Asia have contracted, including the Philippines, of course, one of the largest con contraction. So uh, Vietnam is 100%, uh, virtually 100% open uh, to foreign participation in areas and uh, activities. Yeah, but, uh, but, 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 but in the economy, uh, yes. Professor, if you don't mind, there, there's, there's, uh, I, I wanna um, uh, step in before, before you complete that leap, because there is that leap. No, but I, nobody, I mean, yes, they, it has, they, they have a totally different foreign ownership regime, but that's not the only thing that led, allowed Vietnam to be an outlier in economic performance in 2020. There's this little thing that Vietnam dodged the COVID bullet from everybody else. There's this, there's this, there are other factors like ease of doing business that a lot of people are saying, why don't we invest and keep improving ease of doing business? I, the, I, I just want to be sure that you're not uh, prefacing this as uh, saying that it was foreign ownership that allowed Vietnam to emerge from 2020 unscathed. No, uh, don't, don't mistake me. I don't think uh, uh, allowing uh, foreign participation in economic areas and activities of the country, uh, we, it's not a panacea, definitely. Mm -hmm. There are many other things we need to do. We need a sense of urgency, a culture of urgency, we, we seem to be uh, taking it easy, you know? Manana, pwede na yon, bukas na lang. You know, in, in other Asian countries, if you visit them, you know, the sense of urgency, you can feel it. That's why they get, they get thanks, things done very fast. Mm. And that's why they're growing. Uh, they've been overtaking us. Malaysia in the early, early 1980s, Thailand in the early 1990s, Indonesia uh, also uh, passed us in uh, uh, 2010. Mm. And Vietnam is soon going to be uh, seeing uh, the Philippines in, the, in its rear view mirror mm. biting dust. Yeah, it, because but, Vietnam, Vietnam is going to overtake us very soon, too. Uh, but, Professor, if, if, if you don't mind, I'll let it. Isn't, isn't it is, yeah, when it comes to charter change, it's not, not necessarily. Ownership only. Yeah, it, when it comes to charter change, it's not necessarily just mañana or puede na yan that's holding us back. Honestly, right. what the big thing is that people don't trust our congressmen. People don't trust but, our legislators. You yourself said, thing. you, you prefaced our discussion by saying that, okay. look, I went into it innocently. Let's say you were very gracious in taking the, our congressmen, uh, our congress, congressional leaders' word at it, that it is just economic provisions. But let's allow you some cynicism, as we know you are capable of some cynicism as well. Let's say when it comes to federalism, for example, for which you get some credit for... Uh, <laughs> and, and, putting, flag. <laughs> uh, and some flag. But what is the risk? What is the risk, sir, if the, if the, the, the graciousness that you allowed, uh, which is a very big premise here, it does not come to pass. And the reality is somebody might broach federalism again. Somebody might broach uh, term, term extension. Term extension. Or term and, limit, and so what are, the, what are the risks on the other side? Uh, you know, uh, we're also, we are also a country, uh, it's, we are a low trust uh, society, mm. actually. Very low trust tayo, talaga. Uh, that, it's it, not baseless, huh? That is another <laughs> thing. <laughs> Another thing that we need to work on. Why, why can't we be more trustful of people? Uh, yeah, well, of course, uh, well, uh, first of all, we need to be trusting in our government uh, and, uh, you know, in, 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 uh, in businessmen and the private sector. But so, so, so what I'm saying is there are many things, really. I, I agree with you. It's a confluence of so many things, factors that are holding us back. So that, that is holding us back. So uh, I agree. I, I'm just, uh, I think uh, foreign direct investment is not uh, going to be a, the silver bullet that will uh, propel us to a uh, high, higher income country. It is, uh, it is, it is many things. Uh, ease of doing business, infrastructure, uh, cost of power, cost of labor, you know, our uh, labor laws are rather risk, quite uh, deterring, uh, de uh, tend to deter investors because, uh, you know, they cannot, uh, they cannot hire, 
casual labor or worker uh, labor that is uh, project uh, project uh, related only uh, so temporary workers you know they're just you know we just yeah we, we have so many constraints